Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be starting a back to school series. I'm gonna be talking about classroom organization, routines, um, lesson ideas for the first day of music. So it's gonna be a whole kind of back to school month. And so we're gonna first start off with classroom organization. So I'm gonna talk you through just some quick fire things that I do to keep my music room organized. It's not nearly perfect at all, but there's some things that I've learned along the way I'd love to share with you guys. And also, if you have anything that you have some organizational hacks, I would love to hear them in the comments below. So let's get into the video. So first up, I wanted to talk about something that's kind of new for me this year, and that is color coding my instrument storage. So I have found when I ask students to go put back an instrument, they don't exactly know where it came from or where to put it, and I have to go over there and kind of direct them. So something I'm doing this year is I am color coding the shelves. I found colorful masking tape off of Amazon, and I just lined it. You can kind of see it behind me here, and I'll show you a few B-roll shots of it, but I lined the edge of the shelf by a color. So like red is metals, orange is I believe woods, shaker scraper is yellow, membranes is green, and then behind me I have my xylophones are blue, metallophones are purple, and then finally glockenspiels that are in this bookcase right here are pink. So really at a quick glance students kind of know where to put back the instrument as they learn which colors go with which types of instruments. And then to add just a little bit more organization, I also added on my barred instruments, I added some labels with numbers and the colors. And so I have found throughout the years, I cannot have my ORF instruments kind of set up and ready, my barred instruments, because it just takes up too much room when we step on them by accident. And so I need help getting them out because if you know, if you've been around a while, it is backbreaking work getting all of those xylophones and glockenspiels and metallophones out. So of course you would like some help from your students and it can be a little tricky of like students knowing where to put the instrument. So I have little Velcroed labels with a number and the color that goes with their blue for xylophones, uh, purple for metallophones, or pink for glockenspiels. And it has a little piece of Velcro on it. And what I'm gonna do this year is I'm gonna go and put it on the ground where I would like them to roll or carry the instrument to so they know exactly where to place it. And then also on that label taped to the shelf, or on the bulletin board um, where the base xylophones are, our base metallophones, they know where to put it back. There's that number and that color. So I am gonna see how that works this year. That's kind of new, but I'm hoping that'll help the students take more ownership of getting the instruments out and putting them back and taking a little less work off of me as I get a little bit older and feel my age. My second organizational hack for you is color coding your um, classroom supplies. So I have in my room, I have four group or four students per color on my circle dots. So I have four orange, four yellow, four green, and guess what? I have some caddies over in my bookshelf that are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And so students will go over and in there I have color-coded pencils, I have a crayon box for each student, I have um, dry erase markers, I have four little dry erase boards underneath, I even have plickers I'm gonna be using for assessment, and those are color-coded so everyone knows what storage they're supposed to use, and I can also have less people going over to get um, items. Instead, I'll have one person bring over the materials for the entire group, and hopefully that will speed up the process of getting out papers and pencils. I know with music, a lot of times we only have 30, maybe 40, 45 minutes, and we gotta keep things moving. All right, third is going to be classroom bins or classroom boxes. So um, I have had mailboxes before where students turn things in or I've had a turn in bin and it is so easy and so fast to like start losing where papers are and getting them mixed up. And so even when I had a grade level bin, I still was having trouble being able to make sure I go over there and put a paper clip on it and put a sticky note and say which teacher it is. So I have just bit the bullet and I have gotten boxes for every single class. And it is a lot, it looks a little crazy over there, but it has helped immensely with keeping things organized. Next, let's talk about movement. So as a music teacher, you also have a lot of things that you need for movement, like cups for cup routines and bean bags and a stretchy band and a parachute. And so I have found actually using cube storage really helps with that. And then also because it's a cube and it has little handles, you can just slide it out and take it with you and then slide it back in. And then finally, my last hack for you is just making sure along the years, I have had a lot of different like open storage bins where I, they don't have a lid and it has been actually 
I've been slowly getting rid of those because I have noticed if you have a clear bin, first of all, you know exactly what's in there because you can see it. You don't even have to label. And then second, if it has a lid, it is stackable. And that is just chef's kiss. We want that. We need that. Because as a music teacher, you have so many manipulatives and instruments and movement materials. You have so much to keep track of and having it in a clear bin so you can see exactly right away what's in there. And then also being able to stack that has just been a game changer for me. You can find really cheap, small bins from the dollar tree with lids um, they're each a dollar and then also Costco right now has these kind of medium sized bins that my husband found there are four of them for like nine dollars so that is something that hopefully you can find some clear bins really easily and they really do help a lot with keeping things organized and knowing where things are so I hope you found those little quick organizational hacks helpful. Um, please let me know your hacks in the comments below. I love that we get to learn from each other and I learned so much from your guys' comments. So thank you so much, keep them coming. And I will see you in the next video where I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe we're gonna do some back to school first day lessons. All right guys, see you in the next video, bye.